how are you how are you how is the going my name is naomi welcome back to the easy qs channel and we have begun a new series the series is about estimation of materials used in construction so most of you are telling me oh we are not quantity serving students we want to learn how to estimate materials in a building project some of you are constructing their own houses and you want to estimate the quantity of cement, sand and ballast. For example, when you're doing concreting, you want to estimate the number of bricks or masonry blocks, the rugo stones, when you're doing walling. And you want to know how many bags of cement will it cost me? Uh, should I buy when I'm doing my walls in terms of mortar or even for plaster? And how many boxes of tiles do I need uh, when I'm doing my floor finish? Okay, that is what exactly what we are doing in this series. It's a new series. It's for the series is uh, for estimation of materials in a building project, and we had already done our first video where we calculated uh, the amount of cement and sand we shall require for plastering. We uh, estimated how many bags of cement and how many bag, uh, and what quantity of sand. And we said when you're going to buy cement in a hardware usually buy it in 50 kg bags so that's what we calculated so kindly check out in the description box for that video go check it out maybe you're doing plastering maybe you are, have done uh, you're already done with school but you don't know how to estimate these materials kindly check out for this series and i believe it shall be of much help to you so even for my module 3 students uh, you are doing the unit rate calculation remember the first step that you do when you're calculating unit rates you come up with that material cost okay <laughs> so this series also will assist you even as you polish up on how to do the unit rates so uh in today's video we are going to calculate uh, the quantity of cement number of bags of cement the quantity of sand maybe even we can be able to know how many rollies of sand and how many lorries of of concrete uh, basically when we know the number of tons that you require for cement uh, for sand and ballast we can be able to know the size of the lorry that we shall require from the uh, distributor all right so welcome to this series if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly do subscribe uh, that will really help our channel to grow and so that we can be able to continue making videos for you so welcome to this video and uh, we shall begin with this example in our next video we shall be able to in our next next video we shall come up with a plan actually this is a plan that i have for toilets uh, and then we shall be able to calculate all the materials that we require uh, for that building that has uh, around 12 toilets uh, washrooms let me use washrooms we shall be able to calculate all the materials that we require from the foundation to the roof even the number of iron sheets so keep tuned kindly check out for our, not uh, our next videos uh, if you want to see all our videos uh, turn on the notification bell so that whenever we apply upload a new video you can be notified so that this one is to really help to upgrade your skills i always say that uh the reason why we estimate materials is because we in our method we shall be very accurate these are methods that have been researched on very much so uh when you use my our methods that we use in this channel you will not be able to get a big error you will actually be very accurate when you buy that cement and sun you will not be buying surplus and there will be no shortage so uh once you use the quantity surveying skills that we offer you'll be able to accurately um estimate for materials so without further ado let's get to today's video uh, in today's video, uh, we shall calculate the quantity of cement, sand, and ballast we shall do, we shall use when we are uh, constructing a slab. What is a slab? For example, when you're stepping on a floor, that one is, and it's on a ground floor, that one is a oversight concrete slab. Okay, it's a ground floor slab. All right? So a slab is that uh, mass of concrete placed on the ground to provide for the floor. So, uh, we want to know how many bags of cement, what quantity of sand, and what quantity of ballast we shall require to do a volume of slab which is 15 meter cubic. In the video that we shall be able to estimate the materials for a full house from the foundation to the roof, 
I shall be able to show you how you measure for this 15 meter cubic. Uh -huh. You shall find that uh, this volume of slab, for example, in this uh, video, I shall just uh, give you an example. It could have been a slab. Uh -huh. A slab is usually like this. It's rectangular and it has some thickness. So once uh, the volume was, was calculated for this slab, it was 15 meter cubic. All right. So uh, with 15 meter cubic, uh, the total volume of the slab is made up of wet volume of concrete. Why do we say this? It's because the cement, the sand, and the ballast that was used has water in it. So when we measure the slab that has already dried, we have concreted the slab and we have allowed it to cure. Cure is pouring water on it and it is existent. So that we can be able to calculate the volume of cement, uh, of concrete that we used in that slab, that slab, the total volume when we measure the length, the width, and the depth, that is the weight volume. To calculate the quantity of materials, we have to calculate the dry volume of this slab. Because once we are buying cement, cement when we are buying from the hardware, it's dry. When we are buying sand, it's dry when we are coming with it from the lorry. When we are buying ballast, it's dry. Dry means there is no water that has been added to it, all right? So once we have the wet volume that is making up the slab that is existent, when we want to calculate the quantity of materials, we shall take the, uh, the wet volume of that slab is equals to, uh -huh, uh, uh, the wet volume, now we want to find the dry volume. The dry volume is equals to 1.52% percent of the weight volume why do we see this the dry volume is has a bigger volume than the wet volume why is it because cement mixed with sand mixed with ballast when they are dry the volume is big when we add water the volume collapses why does it collapse because sand fits in the uh, gaps that are in con in ballast then cement fits, fits in the uh, volume in the spaces that are in sand. So the volume, volume ni the the bigness, the ukubwa, the how big it is, it decreases once we add the water. So to calculate the dry volume, we shall take the wet volume. We multiply by 1.52 percent meaning the dry volume is bigger than the wet volume all right so we had the volume of slab is 15 meter cubic so once we multiply by 1.52 we shall get the dry volume of the concrete so how are we able to calculate the uh, number of bags of cement that we shall use in this concrete the number of bags is the mass all right mass is equals to density times volume we know that all right now do we have density of cement yes it's always constant it is 1440 kilograms per meter cube do we have the volume of cement we do not have the volume of cement what we have is the dry volume of concrete so how do we calculate for the volume of cement once we had the ratio the ratio was 1 is to 2 is to 4 Cement, sand, ballast. So the total ratio was 1 plus 2 plus 4. That is 7. All right. So the volume of cement in this ratio shall be 1 over 7 total ratio. The volume of sand shall be 2 over 7. The volume of ballast shall be 4 over 7. All right. So shall be 4 over 7 of what? Of the total dry volume. So when we are calculating the volume of cement, it shall be 1 over 7 times the total dry volume all right so 1 over 7 times 22.8 we get 33.26 meter cubic all right so we shall con go to the weight of cement weight is the same as mass mass is equal to density times volume the density is 1440 the volume is 3.26 so once we multiply we shall get the total kilograms of cement how do we calculate the number of bags one bag of cement is always 50 kilo grams so if it's one bag of cement is 50 kg and we have this number of kg how many bags do we have so it shall be 46.94 divided by 50 we get 93.88 
93.88. Can we buy 93.88 of bags? No. So we shall buy 94 bags. All right. Thank you. So let's go to the volume of sand that we shall need for the concrete. So the volume of sand. Why do we are we calculating the volume of sand? Because we need the volume of sand to multiply by the density of sand to get the the mass of sand, so that we can be able to get the uh, weight of sand in tons. All right? Because once we usually buy sand in terms of tons, then the how many lorries of sand? So when we say lorries, it it means the size of the lorry determines the size of number of tons that it carries. So. Let's continue. The dry volume of concrete times the ratio of sand over the total ratio. We said that in this one, the volume of sand shall be 2 over 7 of the total dry volume. Alright? So, 22.8 times 2 over 7 shall get 6.51 meter cubic. Alright? So, what is the mass of sand? The mass of sand, we shall take density times volume. The density of sand is 1600. That one is usually constant. So 1600 times 6.51. We get the total mass of sand is 10 for 16 kilograms. How many tons are those? 10.4 tons. All right. So uh, once we are, we want to know how many lorries of sand do we have. If it is a small lorry, with especially for as uh, for example, it's five tons. How many tons do we, are we how many small lorries do, will we have? So it shall be 10.4 divided by 5. So you'll be able to get, we need two small lorries of 5 tons. Alright? So let's go to the aggregates. The aggregates, the volume of the aggregate is 4 over 7. Total ratio, we multiply by the uh, total dry volume of concrete. So we shall get 13.03 meter cubic. So what is the mass of aggregate? Density of aggregates times the volume. The density of aggregates is usually constant at 1500. We shall multiply by the volume of the aggregates, which is 13.03. And we shall get 19.545 kilograms. All right? So how many tons are those? It's 19.54 tons. So, if we want to know how many lorries we shall require, and the uh, one lorry carries 10 tons, so it shall be like two lorries of uh, aggregates, right? So, today we have been able to calculate the quantity of cement, sand, and ballast that is needed to do a mass of concrete. The key thing to remember is that uh, whenever we have something constructed, and for example, even if it was a beam and we measured the volume of that beam by taking the length, the width, the depth, then it gave us the volume of that beam. That volume of beam is equal to the weight volume of the concrete. So we need to calculate the dry volume. And we say that concrete, whenever it's added water, it shrinks by 52%. So, so that we can calculate the dry volume, which was original. We shall say 100% is equal to weight volume. What about 152%? We get the dry volume, all right? Then from the dry volume, we can be able to calculate the volume of cement, the volume of sand, the volume of ballast. Using those volumes, once we multiply by the density of the respective, uh, for example, diff, uh, respective element, for example, the uh, density of cement, which is constant times the volume of cement that you have got, we shall get the mass of cement. For the number of bags, we shall take the total mass divided by the mass of one bag, right? For the sand, we shall take the volume, taking the ratio over the total ratio times the dry volume. Then, after taking that, uh -huh, we shall multiply by the density of sand, which is always the constant. Then we shall go to aggregates. There are, and to find the weight of aggregates, we shall take density times volume. The density of aggregates is also constant, all right? So we can be able to find the number of tons of aggregates. So I believe that uh, that lesson was easy and it was a bit interesting. It's not as hard as taking off. These are simple uh, skills that anyone can learn. So once you're building your own house, you can be able to estimate for yourself. You don't have to go to the fund, as I always say, because what he will give you, he has not been to a quantity serving class will have some errors. The errors will be a bit more. He's doing it out of experience. But once you do it mathematically, it should be give you accurate things, all right? So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel,
kindly subscribe if you like this video kindly remember to give it a thumbs up so that uh, it can be visible to all other people who may be interested so we thank you so much for your support you have been uh, so awesome thank you for helping us to get to 4,000 subscribers may God bless you and see you in the next video